want to hear more about the thought process that's going through your head when you're taking that trade. Because you said the psychology is very important. So what literally thoughts are coming to your head mm -hmm. when you're taking that trade? So I think creating an awareness around my thoughts as I'm trading helps when I'm writing it down. Right. So like as I'm writing it down, I kind of just have like my checklist of what I want to see. So is my daily bias correct? Is price getting to that? Have I, have I refined that bias to a lower time frame? Mm -hmm. What is price doing on that lower time frame? Has price reached that point? And now I'm kind of just writing down like my confirmations. And basically, I'm just writing it down until I'm ready to pull the trigger. So the thoughts that I'm having is more so just like brief, focus, watch, wait, a lot of wait, a lot of wait. A lot of stuff can come <laughs> to your head in that moment, right? But you're yeah. keeping it as simple as you can. Yeah. You're literally keeping it to just what you need to stay alive, breathe. Right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, telling myself to breathe helps a lot and telling myself to wait helps a lot because it's like, mm -hmm. I'm always refining and looking back at what I need to see before I take that entry, mm -hmm. especially because it's the one minute time frame. So it's do or die. It's like, if you don't get the most optimal entry, you know, you potentially miss one of the best setups that the market was going to give you. So telling myself to wait, um, you know, I still get those thoughts like, like, take the trade, take the trade. Like, but I notice when I get those type of thoughts mm -hmm. that are like, hurry up and take the trade, that's the trades that I don't want to exactly. take. Exactly. That's that it's impulse. Like, okay. side. You need to take note of that. Yeah. So that's what's like writing it down helped me to kind of dif differentiate um, like the ego opposed to the actual strategy. So when I get those thoughts of like, hurry up and take the trade or, you know, yada, yada, that's where I know that that's not actually me speaking on the actual the trail or something. Right. It, it just wants to hurry up and make money. Whereas when it's like, breathe, wait, okay, got this confirmation, got this mm -hmm. confirmation, take the trade. When it's like smooth and simple, those type of thoughts, like, and it flows, mm -hmm. that's when I know that I'm, you know, taking the trade that's actually aligned with the strategy. And what else are you writing down? Like, are you, are you taking notes after your session and saying what I did wrong? Yeah. So I always take notes to kind of just refine like what I could have did better. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, what I missed. And sometimes it, it I have to wait till like the trading day is over or, you know, the following day, like to see how price aligns. So I might have still been right, but I got to see like how did price action actually play out. Okay. So I'm writing all that stuff down. And then um, also I kind of got like a scale of like being like overjoyed or kind of if I'm feeling down low okay. that day. And I'm kind of just looking at that to find that balance. And I, I learned that through like uh, reading a book called Market Wizards. Okay. One of the guys, he had um, this scale that he like kind of goes to every day. And I noticed like when I'm feeling hype, confident in the morning, like I just got a workout in, I'm feeling really good. Mm -hmm. Those other days I'm like way too Old aggressive. Confident. I'm way too aggressive in the market. And, you know, the days I'm just not having a good day, I'm just not, I'm not feeling good. You know what I mean? You know, stuff going on or whatever. Those are the days that I'm just like really trying to force trade. I'm kind of aggressive as well, or I might be too scared mm -hmm. to take trades. So I want to get like that neutral balance. And that's kind of what I'm like trying to focus on is like, as I'm writing down, if I'm feeling certain thoughts or I'm hearing certain thoughts, mm -hmm. how can I get in that balance of being right in between so I can hit that trigger when it's, when it's time? It's crazy because it seems like, obviously you really need to know yourself to be able to do this and doing this allows you to be able to know yourself but without doing this do you even know who you are do you know how you show up in these situations it's like right. it's so important mm -hmm. to be able to this is crucial information for people leaving out these steps mm -hmm. that are not taking notes not doing this and then they're caught in the same loop of losing losing right. or whatever it is it's like you got to you got to master yourself. You yeah. got to see how you show up. You need like a put a mirror in front of your face, right? <laughs> right. It's, that's what you're doing basically. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, I didn't always have this awareness like in going back to your question before, like it wasn't always there. It's something that I had to do over time. Like mm -hmm. I was never thinking this deep into it. And again, like Ray, that's something that he drove and a lot of traders, I mean, out there, we all hear that same information. Like, psychology is key. Psychology is key, but we all just ignore it. Yeah, at, at some point, it just sounds like traders just be like, it's just a buzzword, right? Psychology. Right. Yeah, it's like, oh, whatever. <laughs> I'm going a, I'm to a get back on these charts. But okay, yeah. cool. But no, when you actually dive into it and really take the time, that's where you'll know, like, okay, this is what it takes. And, you know, I think everyone should definitely take more note of that. Mm-hmm. 
How does this awareness bleed into like other areas of your life? I think as far as discipline, for sure. Um, I think if one thing I notice is if I'm going to master the charts, I got to try to master everything. So even just like with working out, um, trying to eat better or just like even the time that I spend with my family, like that type of awareness is like I'm trying to be more in the moment and more present, like even just playing with my son, whatever it is. I think that trading has helped me become more present to where I'm like actually focused in and trying not to be like on my phone so much or, you know, whatever the case may be. So I think it's helped me in the field of like mastery, like even just doing random chores around the house. Like I want things to be, you know, perfect or, you know, whatever. So I think like it's definitely helped out a lot for sure. <laughs>